Hey, hey Fash, it's the 2nd of April, 2019, and there's just some stuff I want to share with you here while I got a minute. Um, interesting how these things pop up, isn't it? Uh, we have NATO in town in Washington, D.C. this week, and they're, uh, I'm sure, making some pretty critical moves. They're also observing their 70th birthday this week of NATO, okay? But I just wanted to show you a few things. Now, this is getting pretty serious down here. They're repeating the warnings for Russia to get out of Venezuela. Russia's already got a bunch of things going on down there. They got bomber squadrons down there with fighter support, the whole nine yards. They're not going anywhere, not without a problem. You know what I mean? So, you got all this going on. And then I just got finished watching Steve Benoon, uh talking about NATO really beefing up their presence in Ukraine. And they're also all over Eastern Europe. I mean, this is getting, you know, pretty serious, I would say. But what really kind of freaked me out, right? They're talking about NATO. Trump's uh, relationship with NATO isn't the best, I guess you could say. Most of these articles are saying, you know, NATO isn't getting along too good with Trump, so on and so forth. Well, it dawned on me, the last time that Trump was actually at NATO, now this is just strange, okay, just so try to follow me. Trump actually went on a major swing, if you will, when he first became president. Yeah, okay, he started out his trip over in Saudi Arabia. Arrives in Saudi Arabia, so forth and so forth, May 20th of 2017, by the time he gets to nato it's the 25th of may okay and why this is striking me strange is because i remember this very distinctly because they dedicated a piece of the world trade center a beam okay known as the article 5 memorial because they invoked this article 5 for the first and only time as a nato organization as you know allies so they dedicated this beam at the same time he was there. All right. You got to see this thing because it's pretty, it's pretty weird, actually. There he is. This is May 25th, 2017. And look at this beam. It's got a mark on it. And I used to fabricate these things. So you got to label all these. This is like a plate label for this one here. C26, which, of course, the C is a 3. So it's 326, which you could make easily a 911 out of, right? C26. But the 26 is also the numerical value of the name of God, essentially. So there's a lot of weird things going on with this 911 stuff because <laughs> it reminded me at the same time that Trump was here in. Uh, Brussels for this 9-11 beam dedication Obama was in uh, Brussels or in Berlin you can't make this up he was in Berlin the same time that uh, what you call it Trump was in Brussels all right let me just find this article because this is really interesting you guys it, it really is and I have this this article that I can show you right here. This is uh, a, a new article, but it talks about how he was in uh, Berlin. You know, it's Obama to visit Berlin again. And it tells you here how he was here with Chancellor Merkel in May of 2017. And if you go to Obama's uh, wiki, of course, it tells you all about it. While in Berlin on May 25th, Obama made a joint public appearance with this one and that one, and they gave each other pats on the back and whatnot. But that's just bizarre. You got to admit that they, the same day Obama was last in Berlin, Trump was in Brussels dedicating this, uh, this beam sculpture, and Obama had signed the beam, but he signed it. On June 14th, Trump's birthday, his 66th birthday, in 2012. Now, 
When I see these things linked together like this, I don't always know what they mean, obviously. But this, to me, is speaking along the lines of 9-11, yet still. He signs the beam, we remember, we rebuild, we come back stronger, on Trump's 66th birthday. That's a little wacky to me, wouldn't you think? And I haven't checked the date, you know, and all that stuff yet, but I bet it's probably interesting. So, you know, I gotta share this stuff with you guys. That was the trip Trump was on. He went through Saudi Arabia, he went to NATO, he went to Israel, uh, and the creme de la creme in my book is he went to the uh, Vatican. And, of course, when they met, he was in his uh, funeral attire, but it's not funeral attire. This is totally Masonic, the black and white, the whole family dresses in the black. And this is not because they're at a funeral. It's because Trump, uh, if you just look at these things, uh, this, this is uh, the Jesuit general right here, also known as the Black Pope. You notice the black and white. Um, this is really who runs the show. And right now they are moving throughout the world to implement their new world order. And they're about to go bananas on just about everything, my estimation. It's just a matter of time. And you need Jesus Christ if you have any expectation of getting through this, out of this, or what have you. It's not going to happen without Christ in your life. The Savior does save. It's not just a phrase here. This is your soul. This is like a forever thing. If anything else, just get to know Jesus Christ if you don't know him. That's the most important thing you can do. All this other stuff is just theater. When it boils down to it, when you really understand the truth, this is all just theater at innocent people's expense, of course. But that's what it is. Okay, so... I mean, this is just what I'm seeing, you guys, and I got to show it, share it, and all those things. Very strange how that uh, that beam situation shows up <laughs> between Obama and uh, Trump's birthday, the beam. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 